I'm doing a follow-up on this set and I've got my test CRT in it as you can see and uh, the picture is, is actually even with my test CRT is fairly dim and this is telling me a lot um, it's also blurry I've got the um, the focus coil is not around the tube that's off this tube I should be able to get a, a, a fairly decent focus on it but it's kind of blurry but there's a real good reason for it and Bob Anderson kind of nudged me into this something I should have really done early on and that's to see what kind of high voltage I'm getting and I'm not getting very much high voltage at all um, I'm getting about maybe Oh, I would say maybe 400 volts, uh, maybe even less, uh, or, or I'm sorry, 4,000 volts, <laughs> not 400, 4,000. 4,000 volts, maybe a little bit less, and that's enough to maybe uh, uh, get the tube to light up. But it took this set a long time to warm up, even with this good tube in it. So uh, uh, there's a possibility that I could get more life out of the existing CRT, but there's quite a bit more wrong with this set than meets the eye. For one thing, if you remember from my last video, that I did rebuild the vertical circuit. The vertical circuit works really well. Um, I, I get plenty of vertical height. I'm seeing retrace lines in it, but that's uh, on an old set like this. I gotta. I don't know if that'll blank out if I get the voltages right. And uh, there are fixes for that. But nonetheless, uh, you can also see that there's quite a, a S curve to the lines in there. Let me change patterns once. I'll uh, let me put the cross hatch on, and there you can see it real good. You can see, and it's also moving. It's not. Uh, it's not just stationary. It's actually moving. That's a very good indication of hum in the circuit, which means that the capacitors, he did, uh, the other tech did replace electrolytic capacitors, and he did a really slam-bang job on it. Not a very good job at all. So at this point, I think what, what I need to do is follow uh, Bob Anderson's suggestion is continue to rebuild this set. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to rebuild this set. But uh, I'm going to pause the video here and look at a few other things. Let me just put one more pattern on it. And let's see, we can do, well, I don't have, uh, I've just got the, I just got dots. I'll put the cross hatch back on. My uh, leader pattern generator isn't a, a top shelf one. So there we're back to the uh, uh, cross hatch. Uh, kind of a dim picture. Brightness control works. The interesting thing is, is it's locked right in. It's not flipping around. <laughs> That's one good thing. So let me just uh, see what uh, I can take a look at a few. Also, I take a look at this transformer the guy put in. I know the voltages are way off, but uh, I'm going to take a look at this transformer. I think I can find another transformer that might be a better replacement. I'm going to experiment a little bit with this thing and, and see what I can find with getting another replacement transformer in here. Okay, there are some assumptions I've made on my part. This transformer right here, 6.3 volts, what, what, is it, what is it powering? At first I thought maybe he powered the damper tube with it, but no. He's powering the filament for the CRT with that little transformer. Now, there's a possibility that the, the CRT ha had a short um, a filament to cathode short, but according to my test on it, it doesn't. But this transformer right here, he's got going, this goes to the CRT socket. So that's the filament for the CRT. That's what this is for. Now here, here are the uh, the 
the AC high voltage AC uh, I'm assuming it's probably 300 volts I'm going to measure it I'm going to unsolder it and actually power it and measure it find out what it is but um, this is uh, definitely uh, th th the B plus supplies the voltage that makes the B plus and here is the center tap this uh, striped wire right here and then of course it doesn't go to chassis ground it's uh, correct in the schematic as it goes to the common uh, which all these insulated ch capacitors are to because chassis and the common are two different things. This wire does center tap does not get grounded to the chassis. Something that's very important to observe. Now here's an interesting mystery. Written on the chassis he wrote 5 volts AC to damper. And here are these yellow leads. So this transformer apparently had a 5 volt um, output to it. And uh, he uses this for the damper tube, and that's correct. And, and of course, the, ho uh, the horizontal, although the high voltage is very low, the horizontal is actually uh, working. You can see that I, I had a, a full width raster on it, uh, just very low uh, high voltage, which I'll have to look into. Now, here is a uh, center tap, and here's two green wires, I'm assuming. And here I go assuming again. But my assumption is, and I'll verify this, that this is the, the actual filament uh, uh, for all the filaments in, in, in the chassis, this, these two green wires. And like I say, I'm going to disconnect uh, the red wires. And I'm going to um, disconnect these and just do some measuring and I want to see if I can come up with a better way of, of doing this. I don't know if this transformer is really going to be usable or not. I would like to put a transformer in here that brings a set somewhat closer to original. But there's just so much work to be done in it to make this, this thing work right. I, I don't know. I, I'm almost at the point of saying maybe I better just put this thing back together, put it in the cabinet, and just let it sit for a while. Uh, he had all of these 22, 500 volt, 22 uh, microfarad electrolytics here, all of these here, and, and he's paralleled them, so apparently uh, that that's to make uh, 47 or 50 uh, mic uh, capacitors. These are all paralleled, out, paralleled up. And it's just a, a mess the way he did it. I mean, if you look at it, it it's... Uh, if you're going to replace these cans, which you should, they're probably no good. Uh, I would have, because they're under the chassis, I would have just drilled them out, put in terminal strips, and put uh, uh, capacitors in nice and neat. But, uh, and of course, if I work on this set any farther, that's what I intend to do. The other thing is, is how much more in the set is broken. Remember, I had to fix... Um, Let's see, I think it's this one right here. I had to fix this broken choke, this choke right here. Uh, I got to look around and see if anything else got messed up. And what's this? This uh, wire coming down here uh, to that resistor, what's that for? So I got to look at the schematic and see what that's all about. The can canisters up here, um, I checked them. They seem to be okay. There's, I didn't find any open ones. Uh, so the set's powered up and is working, but they should be replaced uh, with the uh, same kind of power resistors that Bob Anderson uses that connect that fasten to the chassis, and I think I'll do that. Um, but how how much farther do I go with this thing? That's the question. I did all this work here, and this work is good. The vertical circuit's working just fine now. But how, how much farther do I go? That's, that's the question. Okay, well, basically the color codes are all correct. Um, you know, yellow would be 5 volts, green would be 6.3 theoretically, and 
the two red leads is high voltage. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, test uh, the uh, the high voltage, and I'm going to test the uh, green leads, which should be the the, the filament for the, the all of the tubes in the set. And then I'm going to test the uh, yellow leads to ensure that they are 5 volts. But the color codes are saying that that's what they should be. So I'm I'm hoping that, that what, that's what I'm going to see. But let's see what we got for uh, the voltage that supplies the B+. Oops. A little short. <laughs> Not a good idea to have that happen. Okay, there we go. And uh, 615 volts. 616. That's way too high. That's 300 volts, uh, 300 and some volts on either side of the center tap. According to the schematic, it should be 250. So that's quite a bit high, as you can see. So let's unpower it. And hope that I don't short something again. Uh, I gotta watch where my leads are. So I've got it unpowered and now we're gonna look at the filament leads here and make sure nothing is shorted. <laughs> okay and here we go with power here and that's six volts. Let me turn this down to, that's our 6 point, well 6.6 .6 volts, but that's our 6 volts. Okay, and we'll leave that down there because I'm going to check the yellow leads next. So we unpower it, and connect up to the yellow leads. This one is still soldered in the circuit, so, and I don't have any shorts like I had uh, briefly, so let's see what we get here. Well, there's our five volts. Actually, it's five and a half volts, a little high. Uh, maybe uh, I should turn this down to 115 volts, because I think that that's what the uh, the transformer has written on it that it's supposed to be 115 volts. I got 120 in it. So now we're down to 115. And we're closer. It's 5.3 volts. So anyway, so we do have our 5 volts. That's what he used for the damper tube. 6.3 here for all the tubes in the set. Uh, uh, a whopping 600 and some volts for a B plus, which is way high. And um, this 6.3 volt transformer that powers only the filament in the CRT. So that's where I'm at with trying to sort this thing out at this point. Now, I'm thinking that transformer having a 5 volt uh, filament winding, I'm almost certain that transformer was probably a replacement for a, a fairly hefty guitar amplifier that had vacuum tubes in it, like a Fender maybe. Uh, something that had a 5U4 rectifier in it, or maybe a 5Y3, but more than likely a 5U4. Uh, that that high voltage, this is not really, a, that transformer is not really a television, at least not a transformer for this television. So that's where I'm at with uh, trying to figure out how much farther I'm going to go with this thing. Uh, I at least got to find a transformer that has, has the voltages a little closer to it, to the B plus voltage that it's supposed to run on rather than that high voltage. Then I got to clean up this mess that's in here. So I don't know how much farther I'm going to go with this, but we'll see.